In today's makeup lesson, I'm going to be showing you how to apply shimmers over mattes and sharing lots of tips and tricks and the differences between mattes and shimmers. Now, the reason I want to do this is because I think if you can understand the differences between mattes and shimmers, it will give you a better idea of how to create a look that's perfect for you. Now, if you enjoy tutorials like this and you want to subscribe, then hit the subscribe button below. And if you're already subscribed, then thank you and welcome back. Now let's get started with this tutorial. So as always, we start by applying an eyeshadow primer all over the lid. This is gonna give us a blank canvas to work on. However, in my previous video, I talked about the importance of applying an eyeshadow base when you are applying matte eyeshadows. Matte eyeshadows tend to have a drier consistency and therefore can kind of just sit on top of the skin rather than being applied onto it. However, shimmers and metallics tend to have more of a creamier texture. So they're a little bit more forgiving on the lid. Now, because shimmers and metallics tend to have a little bit more of a creamier feel, they're also heavier. They're a lot heavier than mattes. And so this is something to bear in mind if you have lids that tend to be sagging or mature lids, you want to limit the amount of shimmers that you're applying. So the first eyeshadow that we're going to apply is this matte midtone or transition shade. So this shade is a matte kind of spicy chocolatey shade. We're going to be applying that with a fluffy brush, which is my preferred way to apply my midtones. We're going to apply a very small amount and slowly build this up. Because we have that base on there and because this eyeshadow is matte, it's going to grip hold of it. It's going to want to grip hold of it. So you want to be very careful. That's why I like applying a very small amount of it with a fluffy brush and slowly build this up. So we're going to start on the outer corner of the eye and work our way in and we're also going to be covering the lid with this shade as well. Now if you find that your eyeshadows blend up too high towards the brows, just bring your hand up a little higher. So instead of having your hand kind of down by your side and sweeping over and back, bring your hand a little higher and then sweep over and back. And this will kind of push the eyeshadows downwards rather than spreading them upwards. It's just something to watch for. If you really like the way someone does eyeshadow, watch for their hand when they're applying eyeshadow. It makes a dramatic difference. It's also a really good idea to keep your eyes open when you're applying this. This will just create the perfect shape for you. So you're getting that hooded area if you had hooded eyes or you're creating nice halo around the lid as well. Another thing, and I know I'm throwing a lot of things at you, is to watch for your angles. So you wanna make sure that your eyeshadow is always working up in an angle using the edge of your nose, eye, and brow. This will create this lifted effect. Now, if you wanna bring it outside of your eye shape, that's totally fine, but you just wanna make sure that the angle is right for you. We don't want anything to go past this imaginary line that we've created because that will drag the eyes downwards. So keep it nice and high and working up at an angle. Now moving on, I'm going to take the deeper shade. So this is our contour shade, is our darker shade. We're going to again apply that with a fluffy brush starting on the outer corner of the lid. So I'm doing little swirling motions on the outside of the lid and as there's less on the brush now, I can slowly start to work it into about the halfway point. Now I'm focusing this on the lower part of the lid and the crease. We don't want to blend this up too high. It's a mistake that a lot of beginners make. They bring that contour shade up, the deep dark shade, too high. Your mid-tone is always higher. Even though it's called a mid-tone, you think it should be like in the middle, it's always higher than your contour. Now if you want to, you can then take a clean blending brush and just very slightly go around the edges of everything. This is just going to make sure that we don't have any harsh lines, even though I do end up with harsh lines later, but that was a mistake that I made when I did my brows. But a clean blending brush is your best friend, so always have a clean one with you. And I just want to mention that I have this little damaged area on my lid because some people think that my blending technique isn't great, but it's actually this little bump that I have on my lid. And no matter what I do, it always looks kind of unblended when it's really up close. From far away though, you can't see it. And our lids are so thin that this kind of damage can happen, particularly if you're doing like seven eye makeup looks a day. Moving on, we're going to cut the crease. So cutting the crease is basically applying concealer onto an area of the lid and it basically creates a clean finish for us. And then we can apply an eyeshadow over the top. So I just took this tiny little brush and I'm gonna apply it on the inner corner. Then I'm gonna look up and then I'm gonna cover this area. Now for the mature lid, you might find that this is a little bit too harsh for you. In that case, you can actually just go in with a lighter shade with a flat brush and this will pretty much do the same thing. It just won't be as defined. 
So once that concealer is on there, I'm then gonna take that lighter shade. I'm going to apply this over the top of the concealer or for the more mature lids who skipped the step, you can just apply this with a very flat brush and really press it over this area. It basically creates the same shape. Now to blend from the light cream shade into the kind of darker shade, I'm gonna take a little bit more of my mid-tone. So here it's gonna be placed right in the middle. So right where the light meets the dark. And then you should end up with something that looks like this. Now I should have blended a little bit more around my brows. That's my bad. So it's just something to watch out for. Now keeping with that clean look, I'm going to apply a pencil on my waterline that matches my skin tone. Make sure you don't go too light, like one shade lighter is fine, but make sure it kind of matches your skin tone. And this is going to create a beautiful clean finish across that waterline. It's optional, but I do find it brings this look together. Then using a flat brush, I'm going to take that spicy kind of chocolatey shade and we're going to apply this underneath the lashes. Now, if you find that this brings your eye too far down, you can skip it all together, or you can really just press it really close to the lashes or try looking up when you're applying it to make sure that you're not dragging it downwards. And then you should end up with something that looks like this. And we're gonna move on to applying the shimmers. Now, because I already have some lashes on and I don't wanna get eyeshadow all over my lashes, I'm gonna use a bent eyeliner brush and I'm also going to spray it with a setting spray. This is gonna give us a little bit more grip so that we're gonna end up with less fallout. Now for the mature lids, you might want to apply it just as is because if it's wet, it actually makes it heavier, which can drag the eyes down a little bit more. So you might wanna skip applying your mascara and your lashes until after you've done this. And I'm taking the lighter shade and applying this on that center point and then to the inner corner. This is just gonna catch the light beautifully. We're gonna focus on the lid here. We don't wanna bring it past anything above the lid. So right to that inner corner and then right to the center of the lid. And then I'm gonna take the more bronzy tone and this is gonna go over the chocolate, deep chocolate shade on that outer edge. Bring it in to meet the center point. And then I'm gonna take the pinky tone and apply just a little bit of this to that inner corner. This is gonna brighten up the eyes. And then there you go. That is the difference between mattes and shimmers, how to work with both of them, and just a few little tips and tricks for the mature lids or anybody who just wants to try out a combination of going maybe a little bit more daytime to more evening. I hope that you give this look a try. I'd love to see it. And if you have any questions, as always, you can leave them below. And as I always say, my friends, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and you are doing the best you can given your circumstances, and that's pretty awesome. And I'm sending you lots of love, and I'll see you in my next one.